Now we will talk about molecular formulas. We found the empirical formula in the above problems. However, this does not mean we have found the actual molecular formula. This is what you are used to naming. Given an extra piece of information, the real molar mass, we can determine the molecular formula for the above compounds and name the compounds. What is a molecular formula? This is a chemical formula based on analysis and molecular weight. What do I need to find the molecular formula? I need the empirical formula. Then I need to calculate the empirical formula of molar mass. And I need the molecular formula mass. We refer to this as the actual molar mass, and we refer to the empirical formula molar mass as the theoretical. How do I calculate molecular formula? First, I find or calculate the empirical formula. Then I calculate the empirical formula molar mass using the periodic table as we've calculated molar mass in the prior units. Third, I take my actual molar mass, this is given to us in the problem, divided by my theoretical molar mass or my empirical formula molar mass, and I get my multiplier. Here is what I just said in a mathematical equation format. Actual molar mass over theoretical, which is your empirical formula, equals your multiplier. Finally, I take the multiplier times the empirical formula to get the molecular formula. Note, if the empirical formula's mass is the same as the molar mass of the compound, then the molecular formula is the same as the empirical formula. It does not have to be the case, but it can occur. Keep in mind, in the prior video, we calculated the empirical formula. We're going to practice the molecular formula calculations already knowing what our empirical formula was. In the prior video, we found our empirical formula to be CH2. That is step one. Step two is to find the molar mass of the empirical formula. So I have one carbon atom, I have two hydrogen atoms, I get the mass off my periodic table, which for carbon is 12.01 grams per mole, hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole, and I'm going to multiply these values. Notice I'm only significant to this place. Step three, I take my actual over theoretical. Remember, this was our empirical formula molar mass. This is what was given to us in the problem as the molecular formula molar mass. And I get a multiplier. So I will take my actual, which is 70. 0.13 grams per mole over 14.026 grams per mole and I get roughly about 5. Step 4, I take 5 times my empirical formula. I distribute the 5 to everything and I get C5H10. And this is my molecular formula. Again, in the prior video, we had found the empirical formula to be N2O5. This is step one. If I did not know this already, I would need to calculate this. Step two is going to be my empirical formula, molar mass.
add them up. Again, significant to that place. Step three, actual over theoretical. Remember, theoretical is your empirical formula. Molar mass this gives us our multiplier. So our actual was 108.01 grams per mole divided by our empirical formula molar mass, which is 108.015. Remember, this is our theoretical. And we get 1. Remember, this can happen where your empirical molecular formula are the same, but it does not always happen. We still take 1 times N2. O5, which is our multiplier, times our empirical formula. We distribute to everything, and we get N2O5 is the molecular formula for this compound. Again, molecular formula can be the same as empirical, but it does not have to be, and often that is not the case.